A lot of breaking news to get to this afternoon on the news first at four. First, Memphis police are on the scene of a barricade situation on airways near Lamar. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson and I'm Shay Simon in for Alex. Now the suspect here accused in a robbery in South Haven earlier today. We're going to get right to WREG's Brian did like with what he's learned. Brian. Uh, Shay, April, this is a very fluid situation. About 15 minutes before we came with this report live on air, we did hear police uh, over, an, uh, over uh, uh, an intercom as they were talking with that suspect that we were just mentioning. Where right now where I'm standing is at Airways Boulevard in Riley Alley. And if you look behind me, we can lay out the scene for you. From what we're seeing here so far, uh, we see a crisis negotiation team and dozens of police cruisers as about three blocks are shut off. Now, we are already at a busy intersection of Lamar and Airways as people have been coming out here trying to get to gather what has happened. Memphis police are concentrating their efforts past this Thotty's restaurant and if we can go ahead and pan towards where we're seeing that SWAT team stationed outside of one of the homes and you see also a black Ram truck. That's where we are seeing they're concentrating their efforts at this time right now. The situation already impacting a busy Memphis intersection again of, of Lamar and Airways. Multiple businesses have shut down in response to the scene. Families are sitting outside watching in distress as they wait for this to be resolved. Now, I want to quickly pull up the picture of the suspect said to be in that barricaded home. South Haven police say this situation started in their area off of State Line Road, where the suspect is said to have robbed a Metro PCS store. Officers in South Haven say the suspect tied up an employee in the back of the store during the course of that robbery. By the time South Haven officers responded to the that cell phone store, the suspect was already gone. Memphis and South Haven police both say they tracked the suspect here off of Lamar and Airways where we are standing. Officers have been out here for about three hours as police are attempting to safely secure that suspect. We did show families here that suspect's picture that was on screen and said they recognized him saying he was not acting normal yesterday. Okay, this is how I found out about this long ride. Okay, my, me and my wife first walked down here. We actually seen the guy when I yes, first came yesterday uh, evening. He looked at us real right. crazy like he was on something and everything. So I've been seeing him walking past here all the time or whatever. But I seen him on the porch one day. He sat there and looking real crazy and all that type of stuff. And I know was, I had a feeling what he was doing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and I walked through all the time and stuff like that. So when I told my wife when I first pulled up over here to uh, my cousin's house, I seen... I seen all the police and crime and stuff, so I thought somebody got killed or whatever, but I know who that guy was because he was glazing at us one time and stuff like that. Look, that's and that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, people we have been speaking to are calling for the suspect to come in quiet so they can get back to their homes. Again, this situation has already shut down businesses as, and people are trying to get to their homes. But again, about three blocks have been shut off to the public. Now, we're going to be out here monitoring the situation and we'll come back to you once we learn more. But for now, we are live here at Bethel Grove. Brian Ditlake, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, much more to come, Brian. Thank you. Now,